Hey guys, it's Irene. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't watched my last video on how to play high G and three new pieces, go check that out. In today's video, we are going to learn how to play middle C and B. Let's start off with C. So very similar to the G, F, E, and D that we learned, this is good to relate to the lower notes, okay? So first, get the fingering for low F. Remember, G plus this pinky key, right? The bottom inside key, right? So press that one and you get F. Let's just get that F sound, ready? Very good. So now we're gonna add in the register key. Okay, so it's that plus this back thumb register key. Okay, let's give it a go. A lot of, lot of air. Okay, you have to put so much air into the instrument, more than you actually think you need to, okay? So get a good full F and then press that register key and you'll hear it go up, okay? Let's do it. Are you getting the sound? Make sure that all of the holes are covered, okay? Make sure everything's covered, and I want you to think about your air as going through this tube, right? This is essentially a tube, and that air is just going straight in, and it's just powering through down to that F, and then up to the C. If the C isn't sounding after the first couple tries, don't worry about it, okay? It happens, it's honestly, one of the most toughest notes on the clarinet, the C and B that we're learning today, guys. So take it easy. <laughs> um, I just want you guys to check a couple things as you're playing this C, okay? If the C isn't coming out, check that your mouth isn't too tight or too loose. If it's too tight, then it can strain the sound and it's just gonna like kind of squeeze out. Like the air isn't gonna be able to completely come out and go all the way down. Okay, if it's too loose, then you're not giving the instrument or the embouchure, the mouthpiece, enough support and stability for it to sound a good C. Okay, and like I said before, make sure that everything is covered. Also, something that you can try is to voice it in your head. Try singing it. Okay, so F is, uh, uh, and then C is, Da, da, da. When you go up to that C from the F, what I'm going to be doing is as I'm playing that F, I'm thinking da, which is the sound of the C, okay? Sometimes that helps. Try it. Does that work? Now on to B. B is played with the low E fingering that we learned, remember? The inside of the left pinky key, right? So we're fingering E plus the register key, okay? And that should sound you B. Let's go from the low E up to that B. Let's try it together, ready? Now I wanna try doing directly C and B. Okay, this is where it gets a little tough, but we're gonna do it together. So starting with the C, get the fingering there. All the holes are covered, okay? Ready, let's try it. Don't play the low F, just directly the C. Sometimes you may hear like 
an undertone or some other sound. And then when you put more air in and you hold it for a little longer, then the C comes out, okay? So when the sound doesn't come out like directly after you blow into the instrument, just give it a second, okay? And keep blowing and then the C may come out. Same thing with the B, even more air here, okay? We're covering one more hole. Ready? job you guys let's try doing this exercise so first looking at it it starts on that quarter note low e right and then it's in three four any new notes here we have that g that we learned last time and then we see the c and the b that we learned today okay something that may come up is that you run out of air quicker which is completely understandable You'll find that over time, as you practice more, that your endurance and your ability to um, hold out your air for longer phrases is going to come, okay? And I have more exercises like that that I will teach you. But for now, if you have to breathe after two measures, that's okay. But try your best, okay? So take a really big breath of air, okay? And then try the first four measures. And then at the end, because it does go down to that C and B, you are going to need more air, okay? So feel free to take another breath. Ready? One, ready, go. Now on to the next exercise. For this one, it starts on that high F, right? High F, D, D, E, half note, C, D, C, B, half note C, right? And then quarter rest. And then we have F, D, D, E, D, B, C. In that um, third measure, we go from the D to the B, right? This may be a bit of a jump, okay? But make sure you keep that air going no matter what. Okay, let's give this a go. One last thing I wanna point out is the dynamic. Okay, we have MF, meaning mezzo forte. Okay, this means like medium loud. Remember, forte is loud. So keep this at a good medium volume. From the beginning, I'll count it off. One. Ready, go. Great job. Now for the last exercise, we're going to play this. It has a three, four time signature and it has a pickup note, right? That pickup note F. Um, in this, you'll see mezzo forte again um, and forte. Okay, so those are your dynamic markings. And we kind of see in the second line, this hairpin. This hairpin here is called a crescendo. Okay, so you're getting louder. You're growing into that forte. Because before that, you're all piano, right? You're quiet. Okay, so let's give this a go. One, two, three, ready, go.
next video, I'm going to introduce you to some fundamental exercises that I do during my warm-ups for my practices. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.